Hi folks, drawing scientific equipment is an important skill in the science lab and in this video I'll share a couple of tips to help get it right, including a great website which can do all the hard work for you. So let's say you've just carried out an experiment and it's time to write up a report including your results, conclusions and of course a diagram of your setup. Here are a few rules you should remember. First off, remember that you're in a science lab, not an artist studio. Scientific diagrams should be simple and clear. Let's take a look at some scientific equipment and how it's drawn in a scientific diagram. So you can see that we should be drawing the equipment as a flat, two-dimensional diagram. The opening of any glassware, like the top of a beaker or test tube, should be open as shown here. If you're drawing the diagram by hand, make sure to use a sharp pencil and draw clean, not sketchy lines. And finally, you'll also get neater diagrams if you draw any straight lines with a ruler. One way of ensuring that your diagrams are neat is to buy one of these. If you're shopping online, then just search for a chemistry stencil. So remembering our equipment before, we could easily draw something like this with very little, if any, artistic ability. Recently, I found an even simpler method of drawing scientific diagrams using a great website called chemics.org. Now I'll not go into any detail here because there are 159 pieces of apparatus alone in the free version and 188 if you want to take out a subscription. With all those items to choose from, it helps that there's a search function and having used it with young school pupils, I've found that it's intuitive enough to let them use with very little prior knowledge and the resulting diagrams look great. Even if you're drawing scientific diagrams by hand, using the website can prove useful by showing you how each piece of apparatus should look. One feature I really like is how you can change the volume of the liquid within the beakers, the test tubes and flasks and so on, as well as its opacity, whether it's see-through or not, and its colour. So the results look very pleasing to the eye. So I hope this video has been helpful to you and, no matter how you draw your scientific diagrams, you've found some useful tips within it. Feel free to subscribe, ring the bell, put your left leg in, your left leg out, do the hokey cokey and turn around. Because, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. See you next time.